by the TRFX. Second week of April here, April 6th. Positive open uh, this morning, as I'm sure you saw with our uh, weekly video. First time uh, in a while we didn't have a gap down on the Monday. News flow seems net positive uh, on many levels. So we've had uh, a slowing of the virus in Europe, it looks like. Um, and, you know, some people are saying New York is already uh, ready to plateau. So New York did report the first decline of daily deaths. Italy recorded its lowest one-day death toll. Um, so this is all positive news, and equities are 3% higher, so 2566. We've been talking about selling into this 27 level uh, for quite some time. Not sure we're going to get up there still, but we're just still kind of waiting. Now you're in the middle. If you bought at the open, bravo. Um, this is going to trade around. We should eventually take a peek up through this 2630, um, 2634 today. Remember, there'll be one circuit breaker at up 5% uh, in, in the future session, but no topside circuit breakers um, in the cash session. Let's look around and see what all of this uh, good news means out there. Currencies haven't done much. You can see on this right-hand side, movement. So Aussie and dollar yen and euro yen are your big movers. I guess euro sterling's up a half a percent as well. But euro's just sitting here. Uh, again, we're waiting for the turn. We remain... Uh, bearish dollars, although somewhat worrying to the position, was the FT article um, about Italy losing faith in the European project, but still a bit early to, uh, to figure this out. Basically, uh, in the FT, they, they were basically saying Europe, Italy's pissed off at Europe, they feel no solidarity. Europe didn't come to help. There's no common united goal. So what's the point of being in the euro? Um, made some excellent points. If this does come to the frontal lobe, euro Swiss and uh, euro dollar will will go left. I'm not sure uh, the validity of all of this. There's always been complaining out of certain elements in Italy, especially the Northern League, um, and then the super right-wing fascists obviously just hate everything, so they want to blow up everything. Um, we'll see. So far, no real, no real effect, but this was printed about an hour ago in the FT, so we'll see how, how Europe digests it. Cable looks pretty offered still. Uh, we still like Euro Sterling higher. Don't want to chase this too much. It's, it's now half a percent higher in uh, Asia. Never a good idea to chase Euro Sterling after an Asian move, but Cable looks like it wants to take another leg lower. Boris is in the hospital for precautionary meth, uh, measures. He doesn't look like the healthiest bloke uh, on the earth, let's face it. Uh, so let's keep an eye on how his immune system um, and his uh, sort of oversized uh, nutritionally challenged body uh, deals with the virus. Dollar Swiss looking for the turn, waiting. Need price confirmation here. Here's a little trend line we drew that's not really important for today. Um, we did see that little bang bang move through 50 late on Friday, but here we are. We're back at back at 76. Not much going on here. 54.84. Dollar yen's been higher on risk on. Um, printed an interesting high there, 109.07. If you believe in risk on, this is this is um, 
this is probably going to go higher and cross yen, particularly Aussie yen and CAD yen are your horses. Um, we do not believe in risk on here, so we're not really focusing on that. But we did match up with the high here from 27 March. Um, well, that high was 108.95 actually. We didn't quite match up. Today's high, uh, 109.08. Euro yen higher. Been really offered recently, Euro yen. But now squeezing higher, back in the middle, not much to do there. Sterling yen, we do really like this 132.50 level now. That's definitely tradable. Keep an eye on that. Uh, if you're a bull, this should be support at the edge of the range. If you think it's a range break, there should be stops below. Uh, those of you who have been following us for a while know which side of the trade will be on there. Um, dollars are no balance at all. All this good news. Here we are, 1925. This is most certainly going to go to 20, right, at the minimum. South Africa, screwed. Bummer. Um, Aussie can't really get out of its way here, you know, mildly higher, uh, but not really doing too much. You know, Aussie yen had a move higher, uh, but it's really the yen side that's carrying this. The Aussie side is not pulling its weight. Um, so, not really sure what to do with Aussie. There should be a squeeze in CAD yen. The whole market is short CAD yen. We were short CAD yen last week. Remember, we were trading around that. Um, I don't mind buying CAD yen through 77, although we'll get to crude. Um, all of the famous save the day oil bullshit over the weekend turned out to be nothing. Surprise, surprise. Um, but 77, the figure is an interesting point in CAD yen. Uh, and if you're bearish everything and bearish oil, uh, which we kind of are, this could be a close your eyes tight risk management trade that you're just trading price and you're trading less story. We like Euro Sterling higher still here, the dailies. Not really sure what to do with that. I think we want to buy low ones today in Euro Sterling. We don't want to chase that higher. Uh, but we will be watching those lows in cable. Dollar CAD in the middle of nowhere. Um, Kiwi, middle of nowhere. Gold, also middle of nowhere now. We we thought that 45 level um, was going to yield on Friday. We had a triple top up there, and after the non-farms, we thought gold was going to rip. But we really just couldn't get up through 50, so gold is just deciding and waiting. Core long is the way. Your tactical book should probably be square at this point um, if you're trading it properly. If you have a, a trend following book, you should be long gold. Equities, as you can see, you know, if you look at this move, bang, bang, this is, we're just kind of in the lower third of this move. We're digesting um, all of this bad news and what are the repercussions. I do think we're going to get up through 26.33. I don't think this has legs. I'm very uh, skeptical of this. But that said, there's no reason uh, you can't make money on the top side, especially trading tactically. Um, have a look at that. Finally, crude, um, you know, gapped lower. Lots of hope. Uh, you could see on Friday the news flow, <coughs> excuse me, that we just were kind of running out of energy. We had offers up at 29.70, uh, no love. Here we are uh, back at 27.34. Looks like, you know, we're definitely not going to fall out of bed here. Trump is threatening tariffs and all kinds of nonsense, you know. The amount of bullshit that guy spews is just unbelievable. And the fact that he gets away with it so freely is just absolutely stunning anyway um, this looks like we're sideways now so 23 and a half 30 or 25 30 is is your deal we're dead smack in the middle 27 37 so I would 
would not enter into anything here. Uh, and if you are long, which I know some of my friends are, uh, I'd get out. I'd try and sell high ones and, and square up. Anyway, uh, just to recap, focusing downside cable here, that looks that looks crappy. We want to buy low ones in Euro Sterling. Um, and then we're keeping a, uh, a flexible sort of non sequitur eye on CAD yen, 77 the figure. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.